Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Hope you are all well and safe and having a great day. My day's going pretty well. Um, I've been messing around in Affinity Designer. Um, Affinity, De Affinity make three really cool products. Affinity Designer, which is really all about vector shapes and manipulating text and such. Affinity Photo for editing photos, which I've done videos on for painting in before, and Affinity Publisher for publishing documents and things where you can bring text and images together. You can bring text and images together in all of the packages, uh, lesser and greater degrees in some. Um, they've all got their own strengths and weaknesses. Somebody said to me, can you paint in Affinity Designer? It, ha it has something called personas, one being the vector persona or the designer persona where you can do all your sort of vector work and your text and creating rectangles and shapes and and putting images into shapes and things like that and they've got a um photo persona so essentially it, you can click of a button and it works like photoshop and Somebody was saying, I own Affinity Designer. I don't own a phone. I don't own Affinity Paint. Can I use it? All the brushes work. So essentially, you should be able to use all of the brushes that come with or that you can get for Photoshop. All the third party brushes should work in Affinity Designer. So I thought I'd give it a little go. I thought, I don't know the answer to this. Let's find out. So I have had a dabble with um, Affinity Designer, see if I could paint with it. And right at the end, if you're not really sure what vector uh, tools are, I give a quick overview. I do mean a quick overview, just a quick look at some of the things that you can do with the vectors manipulating your photo. So having said all of that, let's get straight into the video. Somebody asked me, can you paint in Affinity Designer in the Pixel Persona? Because it doesn't want to have to buy Affinity Photo. He's got Affinity Designer or she's got, I'm not sure um, if it was a lady or a gentleman. Uh, I can't remember, sorry. But I've created an artboard in Affinity Designer. And basically that's an area to work with. If if you're not really familiar with Affinity Designer, it's really all about um, vector shapes. So I can, for example, draw a rectangle very easily and I can rotate it and spin it and put text on it and all sort of funky stuff like that. Um, but I, I'm going to see if I can paint with it going into the pixel persona. I created a transparent background. That's what all these little rectangles are. So I thought I'd uh, make a rectangle to start with just to give me um, a background and I could I guess color that in uh, so what well this is a snow scene so it kind of needs to be blue that I'm going to paint just to give me a bit of a, a start really there we go that's quite nice so that bit works so how does this work we've got um, the uh, designer persona which is all about vectors and has got vector tools i want to see if i can paint in it this is everybody will be screaming at me saying why don't you use affinity photo well i want to see if i can do it in affinity designer so i've i've switched to pixel persona which is in effect like working uh, in a photoshop type app i suppose um i'm just going to use i'm not i'm not going for any uh, different types of brushes or special brushes. I'm just going to use the ones that we've got in here. Um, oh, they've got oil brushes. I don't know how good they are. I've never used them. I've used them once, I think, in Affinity uh, Photo. Now, how do these tools work? Is that the brush? Uh, yes, okay, so that's cool. Square brackets, I assume, to change the size of my brush. Yeah, that's cool. Um, okay, let's uh, let's see. 
Um, I don't like having to swap between colour and brushes. I might just bring my brushes out there. Oops. What have I done? There we go. Then I can see them. And then I can have the colour palette on at the same time. Um, I have to keep... Oh, that's the outline. Another thing is you can put outlines on things on this. So I've got to make sure I'm on the fill pattern, not the outline pattern. Yeah. Right, let's see. Let's see what we come up with. I'm doing this painting scene. That looks less like an, an oil paint, I must admit. More like a chalk. But I've got the brush really exceptionally big. Try a different brush. Actually, I've got this the wrong way around. I want to let's just undo all, all of that. Well, it's certainly very responsive. Um, Any blend tools? Got a smudge. Is that too much? Oh yeah, just blurs it a bit. Do I resize this? Doesn't appear so. I'll pop it there though. Oh, I see how it works. I can use different brushes and it will give me a different blend by clicking on there. Then I can click back to here and then it becomes paint, I guess. I can blend it here. Bit of lag. I've got to say, it's not, this isn't designed for this. So, you know, I'm not making any uh, criticisms. I just want to see if it's possible to do. Please don't get on at me and say, Steve, you could have just used Affinity Photo. This is an experiment, so it works quite well. I've got my brushes Andy. I've got the um, color palette Andy as well. That is a huge brush. No wonder it's lagging a bit. Are we on? Need to be on brush mode. And you can get um, lots of different brushes. Loads of people have told me about brushes you can get for Affinity. So um, I'd, I'd, I'm probably not doing it justice. Is probably you can use. I think you can use Photoshop brushes as well. So I'm just using the basic ones that come with it. This consider this is supposed to be. Well, not supposed to be it is i use this all the time i use affinity designer to make all my thumbnails uh for for, for the channel and uh anything i'm doing with sort of text um 
anything of that nature. I'm into Affinity Design. I've got it for the iPad. Big Affinity user, although I never really um, promote it much on the channel. I'm not so sure that does swap brushes. What's this? That's burn. Is that a... There's a smudge brush. I thought the... I think in the... Um, the paint version, there's different options you can use for that. I don't know. Try a different brush. Can I choose a colour? Was it? No. Maybe I have to. Oh, yeah, you got this weird colour picker thing where you have to, to drag it over there like that and then do that. And I can paint again. So far, so good. This is the entrance to the uh, church where I live. And I know I've distorted that incredibly. What am I thinking? Let's see if I can level it up a bit. Let's try and do it properly. Lots of snow on that. This is that snow storm that uh, I went out in a couple of, or I guess about a month ago now. And you can get all the pictures to this if you want. They're all free to download. Oh, okay. It does change color. Well, that's cool. That's that's handy. I was thinking that it, it didn't work like that. This isn't even a comparison between the two, you know, really, between um, photo and designer. Because I'm not, I'm, I don't intend to do photo. I have used photo for painting before, and it didn't blow me away. But I have to say, this feels just as good. Have we got an eraser? Yeah, we have. Is that a bit selected? Is it tiny? I've got it tiny or something. Yeah. Oops. Oh, 
I, I do. I have used this before actually to do one. Uh, I did a t shirt design for, for sort of save the bees type theme, and it was great because you can. The nice thing about this, you've got all these other tools where you can take your uh, painting and put it into. I'll show you later where we can duplicate it, copy it, and uh, make a poster. I'll, I'll quickly give you a rundown if you've never seen that before. If you have, I do apologize. So, this, I, I don't know which brush I'm using. Um, don't know if it tells you anywhere. Uh, can't see on the screen. I think it might be that. Is it that first one? No, second one. So that's the downside. It doesn't seem to appear to like tell you which which brush you're using. I do you like painting snow? It's awesome. Oops, there we go. I'll put a little bit of snow on trees. And you've got, I, I'm assuming you've got all the options to uh, use blend modes. Yeah, we've got normal, so I could uh, change it to multiply, no doubt, and uh, create different layers and all of that kind of thing going off. Lots of options. It's a really powerful program, and you can get it on the iPad as well. It is probably one of the most powerful apps available on the iPad. Uh, really is. I don't think this is too shabby. We've kind of got this building, this church here. I've got it way too far over, haven't I? Um, I don't think that matters. That's not why I'm... Maybe I want to make that a bit bigger and then chisel around it after. Let's do it that way. Hmm. <laughs>
Well, considering this is this is a vector image, a vector package, it doesn't feel like I'm working in something that sort of trimmed down and not really designed for this. It feels fine. It, There we are, quick sketch. I guess it is a quick sketch. Oh, I know what I can be doing. Not quite there yet, are we? Need some snow in the foreground. I wonder if we can like get snowflakes i wonder if there's anything what we got in the way of the brushes uh effects i wonder if there's anything that's sort of splashing nope blood brushes Mm. I think I downloaded them for some uh, for a project I was doing. It doesn't look like there's anything there. Textures. Oh, textures might have something. What's that? If I make that really big. do it I don't think so no I'm sure I could make a brush that's not too bad a bit bigger trying to get that sort of snowstorm Oh, what do you think? Just sort of happy, happy. Am I? There's a bit overkill there, perhaps. Let's step back a bit. I don't know how many undos I can do. Do. let's create a new layer oh this up here isn't it new layers new pixel layer that's it that's the one There. I kind of like that. Let's go back to the layer below it. Um, I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. Oh, not with that brush, I'm not, am I? Brushes, oil. Let's use that one. Well, first of all, let's just tidy that up a bit. Yeah. Shadow on the snow there.
we go. Yeah, so I think the answer is, yes, you can paint with it. You don't necessarily need to go um, for Affinity Paint. What I would say is uh, probably check out some other brushes. That'd be worthwhile. Well, I, I don't. I don't think. I, like, I, th I don't think it needs that. You know. I think I just like that shape there. It's going to be signed. Painting in Affinity Designer. Right. What is? What else can you do with Affinity Designer? Just really quickly, then. Um. I've got this rectangle here, and because those two are embedded in this rectangle, I can select it. Use the arrow tool there. Just move this down a lot. And oh, I seem to have duplicated it. I didn't mean to do that actually, but never mind. I'll just hide that one. How many of these have I got? Oh, that's the artboard. Okay. And this is the original one. Okay, let's si resize that. And you can stretch it, obviously, if you hold the shift key down, it keeps your aspect ratio. So I can sort of rotate that, move it there, switch the other one up back on, um, resize that, move that around, put a circle behind it, I don't know, go back to the um, designer profile. Choose a circle mode, draw a circle. Oops. Put that behind it just by dragging that layer underneath that layer like that. Put it back on top again. You can um, create an outline around it. So let's just move that in there a bit, move that down. And if I want an outline, I choose that for the color. That's this little circle there. Go to the stroke tool. Oh, I'll put a line around it. So great for making things like uh, Instagram posts and, you know, stuff like that. And uh, if I exported that as a, PNG, um, that would be transparent. I could put some text in it, dead easy. And it has got a lot of fonts. Let's just make it a bit bigger so I can see it. So this is why, this is the reason you would probably use um let's just change the color oh, we're on the we're on the stroke not uh, the fill we could change the font tons of fonts available i like one called uh, i actually can't remember where I got it from. It begins with an H. Hunter, go back there. That's the font that you probably recognize from my uh, posts. And you can put text on a curve. I, I've actually made a video on how to put text on a curve if you want to, if you want to check that out. And I could create another uh, rectangle. Fill that in. Oops, I don't know what I did there. Give it a different color, obviously. Say so, uh, that color and drag that one to the very bottom. And then you can move these around to your arts content. Just 
just messing around. So that's it. That's a quick overview of Affinity Designer other tools. But yeah, you can seem to paint in it quite nicely. A uh, bit unusual video, a bit different, a little bit um, out of the ordinary. But I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, big thumbs up as always. It's much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I've got loads of videos like this. And I would love to be sharing them all with you. So don't forget, everybody, stay safe, stay sane, and keep painting. Bye.